Hi there, I'm Rob Bayetta here in the NBC Bay Area Weather Center. And uh, earthquakes and tsunami obviously have been a hot topic over the last couple of days. And we've been getting a lot of questions. Maybe, maybe many of you have the same question. Why it seems that earthquakes have been getting larger? Or more specifically, has a major tsunami ever hit California? Uh, one of you wrote in, Dovey78 asked that specific question. Has California been ever hit by a major tsunami? If so, when? And why does it seem like earthquakes are getting larger around the world? Well, let's examine, first of all, uh, the last time California was hit by a major tsunami, and this was pretty significant. Up on the north coast, Crescent City had a more than 20-foot tsunami wave come racing through the harbor, this after a massive earthquake in Alaska. So yes, we've had a history of tsunami impacting the California coast. That one, unfortunately, uh, resulted in 11 deaths and widespread damage up on the north coast. So it's something, obviously, we have to take very seriously here in California. Let's examine the plate boundaries across the Pacific, because when it comes to massive, what we call these mega thrust earthquakes or deep focus earthquakes, they happen in what we call subduction zone boundaries. And this is what it looks like. The oceanic crust is denser and dives underneath the continental crust. And we see these boundaries all across the Pacific, underneath Japan, underneath the Aleutian Islands, and also around the Pacific Northwest, where we have volcanoes that form on top of that boundary from some of that heat energy that's generated as the oceanic crust dives underneath the continental plate there. Now, in South America, right along the border there of Chile, we have a massive subduction zone, as you can see, that stretches up towards Central America on the west coast. Then you've got the subduction zone across Alaska. Then you've got another one there off towards Japan and into the western uh, Pacific. So any one of those can generate what we call a mega earthquake of 8.0 or larger. And many times, if you get enough displacement of water at the ocean's uh, bottom there, that can send a tsunami racing towards California. Interesting to point out, we do have a triple junction point of three plates meeting off the Eureka coast. So the closest subduction zone boundary that we have is right off the Pacific Northwest coast. That's called the Cascadia subduction zone. And it almost reaches down towards Eureka, pretty close to where we had the 6.5 earthquake earlier this year. That is a boundary that could generate an 8.0 or 9.0 earthquake, which is something obviously the Pacific Northwest has to keep an eye on and can generate a tsunami that could reach our coast. So if you have a weather or science related question and want to know why is it, email me, rob.mayetta at nbcuni.com.